What's up, bro? It's your boy Cameron, bro. And I, bro, today we're gonna be reacting to ten word thing that Vegeta has done to Goku and Dragon Ball. Let's see what we got going on with this. Despite being what many would consider to be friends, Vegeta and Goku don't really act real friendly towards each other all that often. In other words, Vegeta can be pretty terrible to his rival, doing even worse things before the two became friends and allies. From the Saiyan Saga all the way up to Dragon Ball Super, Vegeta has done some horrible things to Goku, his family, and the planet he calls home. Even when they're on the same side, Vegeta tends to be pretty terrible towards Goku, and in this video, we'll go through all the worst things that Vegeta has done to his fellow Saiyan. From their first fight to their more recent team-ups, let's get started, shall we? Threatened the Earth Goku is not like other Saiyans. He was raised on Earth, which in addition to a head injury, made him a good guy, one who saw Earth as his home. As such, Goku would do anything to protect the Earth, even if he has, from time to time, put it in danger for the chance to fight a strong opponent. Regardless, the point stands that Goku loves the Earth, which is why it was so terrible when Vegeta threatened to destroy the entire planet. This, of course, came during Goku and Vegeta's first battle, which resulted in Goku proving he was the more powerful warrior. This angered Vegeta and his fragile pride, so he acted like a sore loser and decided to destroy the Earth if he couldn't be the better fighter. Nice Vegeta, real mature. Ready to rid himself of Goku, Vegeta charged up his Gala gun with the intention of destroying the planet, only for it to be combated by Goku's Kamehameha, which was able to overcome the attack and save the Earth from its fury. Preventing Vegeta's attack was yet another blow to the Saiyan Prince's pride, so he broke out his final trick, his Great Ape Transformation, which led to another terrible thing that Vegeta did to Goku. Now y'all wanna bring it Goku. up? Upon losing his beam struggle to the power of Goku's Kamehameha, Vegeta became even more desperate, breaking out the hidden power within all Saiyans, the power of the Great Ape Transformation. Unfortunately, Vegeta didn't have a moon to transform with since Piccolo destroyed it earlier in the saga. Thus, he created an artificial moon, using the Blutz waves to transform into a Great Ape, Burst which greatly open increased his power. In this form, Vegeta was too strong for an exhausted Goku to take on. This made it extremely easy for Vegeta to dominate Goku, which is exactly what he did, leading to one of the worst things the Saiyan Prince has done to his rival. We are, of course, talking about when Vegeta grabbed Goku with his great ape hands and started crushing him to death. This was straight-up torture, since Goku cried out in pain as Vegeta reveled in crushing him, all of which amounts to one of the worst things that Vegeta has done to Goku. Luckily, Yajirobe was there to cut off Vegeta's tail and revert him to his base form. One of the final blows dealt to Vegeta during the Saiyan Saga. He also got a taste of his own medicine when Gohan turned into a great ape soon after. Fought Gohan Joke all you want about Goku not being a good dad, but he definitely cares about his sons, and when Gohan got hurt, it hurt him in turn. Thus, the two instances of Vegeta fighting and injuring Gohan stand as some of the worst things that Vegeta has done to Goku. The first instance of this came when Goku was down for the count after his battle with Vegeta, leading him to hand off the Spirit Bomb to Krillin. As Krillin waited for the right opportunity to strike, Gohan fought against Vegeta. During the fight, Gohan was on the receiving end of a massive energy blast barrage, resulting in injury and defeat. This wasn't the only instance of Vegeta injuring Gohan, since another came in the Namek Saga. As Vegeta went about collecting the Namekian Dragon Balls, he encountered Gohan, who was hiding one of the orbs. During this encounter, Vegeta ended up kneeing Gohan in the abdomen. Kind of pissed with hiding one of the orbs. That's a bad angle. Orbs. During this encounter, Vegeta ended up kneeing Gohan in the abdomen, an attack that must have been incredibly painful, and even though he ended up working with Vegeta later on, we have no doubt that Goku was furious upon learning about this moment. Vegeta sort of made up for his actions in giving Gohan armor and healing Goku, but it was still a dirty move. Being a Jerk this next one isn't so much a single instance of Vegeta doing something terrible to Goku, but more of a collective entry encompassing all the times that Vegeta has been a straight-up jerk to Goku, despite the two being friends at this point, or at the very least, allies in battle. Even though Vegeta is a good guy these days, he's often anything but towards Goku, who he ridicules, calls an idiot or a clown, mocks or otherwise insults him on what seems like a daily basis. 
Granted, calling Goku an idiot is sometimes justified due to his idiotic choices, but still, there's not really a need for Vegeta to be as much of a bully as he is towards Goku. Some specific examples of this are when he called Goku an idiot over and over again in Dragon Ball Super Broly, when he called him a clown while he was praising him during his internal monologue at the end of the Buu Saga, and when he questioned Goku and Chi Chi's marriage prior to the Tournament of Power. Aside from these examples, Vegeta is just generally standoffish, grumpy, and short triggered around Goku, blowing up at him far too often. Come on, man, you owe your good guy status to Goku. Be a little nicer. Destroyed the Potara. During the Buu Saga, the struggle to save the planet from the evil being became more and more desperate. After the fusion dance failed, and after Gohan was absorbed by Super Buu, Goku and Vegeta had to rely on fusing with each other using the Potara in order to stand a chance against the villain. Vegeta was really hesitant about fusing with Goku, both because he didn't want to acquire power that he didn't earn himself, a side effect of that old Saiyan pride, and because he didn't like the idea of combining with Goku. Resisting the fusion was itself one of the worst things Vegeta did to Goku, since it put the world at risk. However, Vegeta outdid this terrible act with another, destroying the Potara. Before this, the two ended up using the Potara to form Vegito, who absolutely dominated Super Buu in their battle. Because of how strong and effective Vegito was, it was absolutely unforgivable that Vegeta destroyed the Potara after being unfused in Buu's body. The earrings were still useful, and could have still saved the world, and by destroying them, Vegeta put the universe at risk. It also forced Goku to fight solo against Kid Buu later on. I mean, on, Goku wanted to destroy it too. Fight much easier. Majin Vegeta. Before Goku and Vegeta worked together to form Vegito, they did pretty much the opposite, fighting each other after Vegeta allowed himself to become a Majin. This and the ensuing events stand as some of the worst things that Vegeta has done, both to the world and to Goku. Vegeta allowed himself to fall to Babidi's control, because he felt he had lost the ruthless warrior spirit he once had, like his time on Earth had made him weak. By becoming a Majin, Vegeta not only turned his back on Earth, he also betrayed Goku. Namely, he betrayed the kindness he had shown him and the opportunity he gave him to change by sparing his life. As if that wasn't bad enough, Vegeta also forced Goku to fight him by killing people at the World Martial Arts Tournament. The resulting fight was itself another terrible act committed by Vegeta towards Goku, since he beat the snot out of him, chained him down with energy restraints, and forced him away from the bigger issue at hand, the awakening of Majin Buu, just so he could prove he was the better fighter. Everything about Majin Vegeta stands as some of the worst things that Vegeta has done, especially with regards to Goku. Let Cell Become Perfect this next one might not seem like it directly affected Goku, but it indirectly ended up putting Goku in danger and eventually killed him. We are of course talking about how Vegeta let Cell absorb Android 18 and obtain his perfect form. After training in the hyperbolic time chamber, Vegeta was as arrogant as ever, showing off his Super Vegeta form to Cell, which was more than enough to defeat him. Because of this, Vegeta in his arrogance and desire to prove his might allowed Cell to pursue Android 18. The result, Cell indeed obtained perfection, becoming far too strong for any of the warriors on Earth. As such, Vegeta's arrogance put the world in great danger, and it also affected Goku as the Cell Saga progressed. First of all, because Cell became so powerful, Goku couldn't keep up against him, leading him to pit Gohan against the android. Thus, Vegeta put Gohan at risk, a terrible act towards Goku that some fans might have overlooked. Additionally, because Cell obtained his perfect form, when he eventually lost it, he was a sore loser about it, and attempted to blow himself up as a means of destroying the Earth. This, of course, led to Goku's death, which wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Vegeta. Killed Ginyu Force Members Some people say that Goku hasn't grown or changed as a character, but that's simply not true. For one thing, Goku positively affects the world around him, so there is no need for him to have a major character arc. And second, if you look closely, you'll find that since his first appearance, Goku has become less of a killer. In Dragon Ball, Goku killed a number <laughs> of Red Ribbon Army soldiers and killed King Piccolo, but he spared Piccolo Jr. and Vegeta. In other words, Goku grew into someone who didn't rely on killing attempting to show his enemies kindness, something he even attempted with Frieza, who literally shot his kindness right back at him. 
Why do we bring this up? Because one of the worst things that Vegeta did to Goku was go against Goku's aversion to killing. After Goku defeated Birder and Raccoon, he left them alive, something that Vegeta didn't care for, since he went ahead and killed them anyway. Vegeta did this against Goku's wishes, which makes it one of the worst things he's done to him. Even worse, when Goku spared Vegeta, Vegeta didn't grant the same kindness to other warriors Goku had defeated, making it pretty ironic and somewhat hypocritical on top of being terrible. Betrayed Goku Speaking of the Ginyu Force, Vegeta did another terrible thing to Goku that was related what game did they get a picture from? to these elite members of Frieza's army. After dealing with Birder and Raccoon, all that was left of the Ginyu Force was Jace and Captain Ginyu himself. The battlefield was two on two, the Ginyu Force versus Goku and Vegeta. At least it would have been if Vegeta actually stuck around. After being so adamant about not leaving the Ginyu Force members alive because of how dangerous and powerful they are, Vegeta just up and left Goku to die at the hands of the two yeah. members. Man, for a guy who takes such pride in his, well, pride, Vegeta sure acted like a chicken in this moment. Rather than help Goku fight Ginyu and Jace, he just flew away. The act standing is one of the worst things Vegeta has done to his rival. What makes this so terrible is the results of Goku's fight with Captain Ginyu, which led them to switch bodies and left him near death and down for the count. Of course, Vegeta eventually redeemed himself when he held Goku into the healing chamber to recover from his fight with Captain Ginyu, and when he gave armor to Gohan and Krillin. Cheered for Copy Vegeta the final entry on our list comes from the Copy Vegeta Saga of Dragon Ball Super. In this mini-saga, Vegeta had his power stolen by an alien entity that formed into a duplicate of himself, one made of weird purple goo. The fun part about this Copy Vegeta was that he was voiced by Vegeta's original English voice actor Brian Drummond in the dub version of the series. So how did this Copy Vegeta lead to one of the worst things that Vegeta has done to Goku? Well, after his power was stolen, Vegeta began to fade away. And if the duplicate wasn't destroyed, Vegeta would disappear. Thus, Goku had to fight copy Vegeta in order to save Vegeta. Fighting Vegeta was nothing new for Goku, since he'd done it tons of times before, but this time was a bit different. Not only was this copy Vegeta just as evil as Vegeta used to be, Goku also had the real Vegeta supporting his duplicate. Yes, that's right. Vegeta was cheering on the duplicate version of himself that, if he won the battle, would cause him to fade into nothing. Not only was this a terrible thing to do to Goku, it was a stupid thing to do for himself. Come on, Vegeta. So there you have it. The I know what to get, all the leaders.